What's up, YouTube? We back at the gym. I know it's been a minute since we put up a video. I've just been kind of busy with some other shit and just, end of the year, you know, you should get your mind right, and process things, and, you know, think about the goals you want to accomplish in 2020. 2019 for me was very uh, random, very everywhere, uh, a lot of stress, anxiety, um, you know, demotivation. It was probably, 2019 for me is probably, it, it, it's, a, it's somewhat of a good year, but it's probably like one of my worst years uh, like I've ever experienced just all around, like spiritually, mentally, physically, it's just the worst. And, uh, you know, 2020, I need to find a way to get back on my shit, you know, where I had a little bit more motivation back in the New York days and stuff. When I came out to L.A., it felt like I had more motivation, you know, but it's not really, it's not there like I want it to be. So that being said, I'm putting out this blessing to all of you. Hope you guys had a great 2019 and I hope your 2020 is a lot better. I need my 2020 to be five times as better, all right, and uh, get the ball rolling. But that being said, this video is sponsored by S-Force. All right, you can use code AFTERMATH. You can get your S-Force watches right here. And uh, for you guys, I have a totally new S-Force watch coming in, one of the collector's editions that you could grab as well. So let's go ahead and open that up. See that? That's how legit it is. It comes with a, it comes with a manual, y'all. Look at that. Certificate of authenticity. What is this? It's a screwdriver, mobile phone stand, insert card. The box is legit. Comes in this nice S Force box right here, and it comes in a, a, another box. This, this some old money type shit right here. All right, here we go. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Oh my God. I ain't gonna lie, that's clean as fuck. Yo. Yo. Come on. All right. Let's do this all over. That you could grab as well. So let's go ahead and open that up. Yo, look at that. That's crazy. It's upside down, but that's crazy. Look at that, that matte black. That, hold on, let me take this off real quick. Let me take this off. This is a nice watch too. This is real nice. But as a man of blackness, I love me some all black. As for us, y'all, use code Aftermath. But let's get to the reason of today's workout. And today's workout is about how often should you train if you wanna get strong in a lift, your compound lifts. Now, I need to train something three times a week in order for me to like really build strength gains. And the main purpose of building strength, I mean, the main thing that will help you when it comes to strength training is constantly putting that, you gotta, you gotta attack that CNS, you, know? you gotta constantly put yourself under that heavyweight pressure. And it sucks and you need to be on your shit when it comes to recovery. And um, that's just like, that's literally the main thing that I know that helps when it comes to getting stronger, all right? That's why, honestly, I cannot stand, I, I, I hate taking breaks. People ask like, how many rest days do you have? Like, I, like, not until this year, I started like really taking rest breaks. And that's like really just kind of, honestly killed my, it's killed my motivation in some time. I don't know why. Because after I've, I've never felt good coming off a rest day. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've just never felt good coming off a rest day. And I can't, I don't know why. And it's, it's, it's just my body. I don't know. I get lazy, demotivated. I like, I like to be consistent, consistently doing something every day. And that's how I see my progress and getting better. And maybe I don't hit it like crazy every day, but I'm still doing something in the gym every single day. That's just how I like it. And that's how I keep my mind situated and straight going, like going to whatever I'm trying to do. So we want to hit bench today. We still got the Gamers to Gainers um, series going on. 
but we're gonna combine that a little bit with some of the, we're gonna go into the strength training now. And uh, today we're gonna hit some chest. I wanna show you some uh, things that you should be doing for chest training. And if you're trying to get bench up, what do you do? Bench, all right? So we'll be doing, starting off with the five, what, about, probably about five sets of three uh, for me right now. You just do like, what, what, three months, five sets of five, three, three, two to three months, five sets of two, and then a month, and you get to that uh, one rep max. So let's get to it. It takes lifting heavy to be stronger. Simple as that. If you ain't lifting heavy, your body's not getting used to a certain amount of weight. It don't matter how much accessory shit you do. All the accessory stuff that I show you guys is good to keep yourself healthy and keep balance in your training and your joints. But in all, you have to lift the lift heavy. Now, you're gonna hear a lot of things. You know, have your feet up, keep your back flat. You know, legs up like this, so you can take the leg drive out. Yeah, those are all things that, you know, could benefit and help. Um, taking out the leg drive is something you could definitely do. Uh, but the, that's more for the advanced people. Don't start out doing stuff like that. Just focus on your posture. Wide back, get that back wide on the bench. Always talking about bend the bar. And what that is, is just bring those elbows in. And again, if we're trying to lift as much weight as possible, we're not worried about building the chest, right? That's not the main focus, all right? Because if that was the main case, my chest would be huge for the amount of how, how much weight that I can bench. Hit up beatkicks.com for headbands like this, towels, covers for your headphones, gaming, and your beats. Code Aftermath, get that discount. My first time to file. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I want to do a set of three. Hey, Azizi Gibson. The whole A New Life album. A New Life. You're welcome. That's my shit, boy. We'll go over movements that actually matter when it comes to chest. And what I really wanna focus on is strength. That's all I'm like doing, that movement. And what you'll see me is progressing as soon as 2020 hits, is you'll start to see me do my main lifts again. I'm getting on a strict bench squat deadlift. I mean, all three of them at least twice a week, at least twice a week, at least twice a week for 2020, it's time to get back into that shit. You know, I took this whole year off recovering myself and um, you know, my lifts haven't been great this year just because, like I said, you know, just I just haven't felt like it anymore. But I wanna develop that strength, that, that what, I, what I promised myself to is just develop that strength, that crazy strength and that crazy athleticism at the same time um, you know, we're built better. I want to be built better doing the shit that I'm doing, you know? I actually want to get my meals and shit situated. I make my clients and all that look good, and yet I can't motivate myself to eat right because I'm so stuck on my genetics, being like, oh, I can get away with eating this, get away with eating that, you know, and still look, you know, I, I might be pushing above average, pretty much, you know? But I really want to like take it to the next level because um, I have an issue dedicating myself to things because of like my, what is it, ADHD? Yeah, it's ADHD. You got ADHD? You probably are like, Teron, why are you struggling with this? It's not even 405 yet. Trust me, bro. Just give me some time. I have it, this last week, I have not felt like lifting at all. Nothing. 
I haven't even posted no lifting shit. What happened with ASAP? Some, 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 some video leak, and like, and everyone was laughing at his sex game. Not there. Wow. That's one thing everybody I take serious. It's my sex game. <laughs> That's one thing I take. I take I take that above muscle or any. Yo, I swear, bro. There's no way I'm about to be made fun of during sex. There's no way. There's no way. There's no body in this world that can make fun of me. And you know what's crazy? I used to be super insecure. I used to be super insecure. But I, yeah. I just like being good at what I do. Ladies. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. All right, we got one more set of the bench. And then we'll move on to some dumbbells. I'll probably do, I have my barbell and dumbbell movements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two push. Well, it's gonna be four push all together. But uh, two vertical pushes and then two horizontal pushes. The horizontal pushes are obviously the bench press. And then we're gonna go to the incline over there for dumbbells. And then the verticals will be the barbell and dumbbell um, press movements. So let's go. Once again, we'll probably be, we'll st still be lifting some weight with those. Three. Woo. Yo, sucks trying to get your strength back. Can I get a hallelujah in the chat if you feel me? Sets of eight. Her ass fatter than fat. She got the pat on her lap. Four sets of ten. I mean eight. Hey, Tokyo's Revenge, bro. Yo, I be finding the dopest songs on TikTok, bro. Yo, that shit's put me on in so many fucking songs, bro. Good morning, Tokyo. That, that's, that's my new workout song. I think it's, I think it's the song out. Hey, my dick is so hot. <laughs> All right, let me chill, let me chill. All right, let's get it. Next set, next set. a thing like the niggas the stores sell kool-aid anymore yo does anybody know about the kool-aid that gave you like that that menthol refreshing like mouth feel yo if you find that joint i need you to mail some of that to me because i've been looking for that i need that i need that all right so now we got some barbell presses strict keep the core engaged we'll start off with a pyramid sets for these you gotta be careful with presses and the movement and what you can do. Cause if you're too tight and you can't go all the way down, you might feel like, oh, I gotta be all the way down here. If you can't get down here, don't be down here. All right, don't mess up your shoulders. So I'm gonna stay within my rep range. Strong shoulders equals a good bench press. Simple as that. Strong, healthy shoulders. Healthy. That was my warm up, so I'm gonna do sets of five. Now, 10, set of five, three sets of three.
lost it. Okay. That was just two songs that I like from Tokyo's Revenge. Everything else is, is too much talking about dicks and shit. I find that annoying. So, I retract that statement. This is not my shit. But that one song or two. Yeah. Last up, I'm gonna finish it with some Arnold presses right here. Boom. Set to six for four sets. I should really do 65s. That is it for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's time to re-up this coming 2020. Really get after it. Fuck everything else. Fuck how I used to think. Fuck all that. You know some new shit? We're gonna get on this grind. And uh, just like a window, we're gonna air it out. Catch my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Also for online coaching and personal training in NoHo area of Los Angeles, email me at T-E-R-R-O-N-2311 at gmail.com. Peace. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business.